to go be goddamn proud. Joshua. <laughs> there it is. There it is. For House Rossfield. Oh jeez, I'm here. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Very powerful. Very annoying. <laughs> It's like it gets two attacks. Can't really see. Dang it, I missed with that whole thing. real quick. Jeez. <laughs> Is this the Heartstone? I expect Lady Godotha will know. You have potions. Here, take a look at my wares.
Yes. Anything else? That time. Wait, I have enough. Right, I'll play. Do I? I do have enough. I could just get this. I don't know what this is. What is gun near? Of course. Take care. Do I have gun near attached to me right now? I just bought something that's a lot. I literally bought something just because I could. <laughs> like, yep. You know, I have Ragnarok. Thank the Founder you were safe. The Griffin is slain then? And the Heartstone claimed. Yes, this radiant luster, like frozen flame, is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. Your father would be so proud. Lady Goddatha. The lapidary is ready. Thank you, Cyril. I will be with him shortly. If you would excuse me, I shall have the stone cut and set forthwith. The armbands are complete. Pray, take them. They are yours. After all, heartstone is harder and more enduring than garnet, or even ruby. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. And the graven vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. It's a message. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only... With unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. And only if we stood together. As Phoenix and Shield. As brothers in arms. Only then might those enemies be overcome. Indeed. His grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. Thank you, Lady Goddatha. For remaining the steadfast custodian of our father's will. Forgive me, my lady, but there is something I don't quite understand. The Undying told me that after father died, mother claimed all of the ducal treasures for her own. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how were you able to keep them from her? Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands of the deep love he had for both of you, and his hopes for your future. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered that the Duchess had ordered her jewelry be sent away from the castle. It was then that I knew she meant to betray us. I tried to warn your father, but it was too late. When word of the fire reached Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. And thank the Founder you did. Yet my duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the Griffin, thinking I might claim the Heartstone on its passing. And so my pursuit continued, until Lord Cyril appeared before me. He informed me that His Grace's will had been recovered, and that his sons were alive and well. Lady Goddatha, on behalf of my father, and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. As do I. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. For coming back to us. For giving my service meaning. Forget it. <laughs>
Oh wait, gun gear is... Wait, man, gun gear is the actual thing I should have, is it? Yes, this one. Freaking spinning swords. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what it actually upgrades, so I'm just like, I don't have time to figure it out, really. I thought I could be mastered. Oh, well, he's been mastered basically, right? Basically. The bands suit you well. It must be gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was denied you for so long. It is. And we thank you for the part you played, Cyril. If you would permit me to play my part a little longer, might I suggest that you make your way to your father's memorial atop Hawk's Cry Cliff? Let him see that you have received his blessing and that his vision lives on in you. I suppose it would be churlish not to. What do you say, Clive? Shall we pay your father a visit? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer him my thanks before we left for Origin. Your father's helm is enshrined there. It has been since, since the day we recovered it from Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it, for it too is a part of your inheritance, and I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands than perched upon some lonely rock. Thank you, Cyril. Come on, Clive. He's waiting. Unwavering will and an unbreakable bond. Do you really think we're strong enough? To save the world? Of course. To have overcome father's political enemies. Of that I'm less certain. <laughs> Especially knowing what we know now. What mother was truly capable of. But perhaps these bands would have helped. Knowing he was with us would have made all the difference. Can I, like, jump down from here, please? No. But it is down there. Okay, let's see what I gotta do. The 
It's just back there. Father always fought for what he believed was right. It wasn't until that night at Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. No matter how fate conspired against him, he never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us. As we follow in your footsteps. Very sweet. Onward then. Onward. To the end. And to a new beginning. These final missions are really nice. You know. Okay. Cool. I mean, I thought you were the whole time, but... Sure. <laughs> but... I, I like I look at him and I'm like, there's so many to do. I guess one of the things we can do is like actually finish up this area. Okay. <laughs> Go up these stairs. Doris is waiting for me near Balmung Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by Akashic. I need to hurry.
Okay, so you you went. Uh -oh. Oh jeez, didn't avoid that one. But I did avoid that one. Stop. Yep. Oh. Is that the enhanced version of it? How about you stop? I can't believe I actually got that. Wait. saw that right like I go up to five Ugh. that's great Ugh. and so that's like that's just it and it yeah okay that was, that's that's really cool <laughs> I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with Akashic. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thickest there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad enough to turn a bearer? I hope not. But risking a lot just being here. Better keep my eye. It's a lot of talking. Let's just keep on going. <laughs> Locked up tight. I see you. That just sucks. It's just a lot of attacks hitting real quickly. <laughs> So this place was no ordinary prison, and I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. Okay, did I like... There's a lot of y'all. 
I want to see how this works. See? Yo. Oh, that's just done with. <laughs> Over with. Real quick. Not the biggest of ranges, but I mean. This one. Okay. Oh, yeah, the level 5 on that one is ridiculous. Minimal loss of Waluda lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Oh, yeah. Bear us to it. This is even worse than I'd feared. Nothing but a Kashik down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. I guess now I can go upstairs. Stairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even. And those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of. Whatever that means. I'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I 
was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. Okay, got the key. Is it here? Nope. Next one. Yeah, I can't get up higher. Okay, just want to make sure. Wait. Yeah, that place I couldn't get into first. Gonna be sad. Oh, I got a fight out there, don't I? Can I find anything in between though? No. Wait, what you got? Okay. Did you see her child? A survivor. It just sounds close. to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. The one else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> of course there were. Thank the founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. You must have been terrified. Did... Did... Teatric send you? What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened for sound, didn't he? Wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Was that? The monster is back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. We have to run! You're safe now. We won't let it hurt you. It's out there waiting for me. I can't let it live. I think it's huge. got a taste for bearers. Ugh, I gotta find something that might beat me up senseless. Couldn't have been a potion, no. Just couldn't do it. This just hurt your feelings too much. Alright. Get this over with. Let's go. Ouch. Nice try. Oh, 
she's up spinning. Stop! But not on that one. Ha ha! Gotcha! Ouch! Everything hurts so much. I feel like I. Okay. <laughs> Sid, are you hurt? I'm fine, I think. <gasps> oh, no. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. Sometime later. I hear you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. 
You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Hyde Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Another gun here. Interesting. <laughs> 